what's going on virgo and thank you guys so much for tuning in so guys this is going to be your march reading um and this is going to be for sun moon rising and venus virgo signs so keep that in mind now guys i don't expect these readings to 100 percent resonate with everybody so check your other placements if it doesn't sometimes your moon um or your you know uh your rising rather is much more accurate okay or you can get a personal reading all right guys so let's jump into your reading. Let's see what's going on. Now, I'm just going to kind of freestyle. We'll see what energies come out. And this deck that I'm using, guys, is the Wild Tarot Unknown. All right, so what's up, Virgo? What's going on with you guys? Ten of Pentacles. Nice. All right, so maybe there's some sort of promotion coming in for you, um, some sort of money coming in. You guys could be balling right now, but this is abundance. This is money. This is leveling up. All right, we have the five of wands and we have the ace of wands. So let's start with this first and then we'll add on to it. Um, a lot of you are in the works for something solid. For a lot of you, this is going to have to do with finances. It's going to have to do with your job. Um, but you're working on something that is going to make you feel extremely abundant. And there's so much passion here. This is powerful. Okay. So there could definitely be a lot of passion and what you're doing. And yeah, it could be something where it could be hard work. Um, you know, not everything is just a straight shot. Maybe there's bickering and arguing with how things need to get done. Maybe you feel a weight on your shoulders and tension, but whatever it is you guys are building, I feel like whatever tension might be involved with it, it's worth it, okay? This is something that is significantly going to change your life. Um, if you've been feeling unstable, like especially emotionally, that all goes to the side, all right? For some of you specifically, this could have to do with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, uh, but you guys are doing something that is meant to be on your path. You're manifesting something that is going to be strong here. This is your life purpose. This could be someone that you're going to marry um, or someone that's just really meant to be in your life right now, okay? Why is this Ten of Pentacles here? Four of Pentacles, okay. Why is this Five of Wands here? We have the Knight of Pentacles. So that's you guys there. It could be another Torch Virgo Capricorn. And you have the Hermit card in the reverse. So, guys, <laughs> this is an amazing reading. All right, so with the Six of Wands, this definitely brings in success, okay? Um, again, if there's been any losses or maybe if you broke up with someone recently or you left a job recently, you know, this gets you back on track. So you're able to recover from, again, any losses that you felt. Um, but what this is saying is that there's certain things that you guys are going to have to be reserved towards. If this is something that you're doing financially speaking, whether it be business or like you're building your own business, whatever it is, um, be conservative about your money. No crazy shit right now. Okay. You don't need a sweater that costs $3,000, you know, just, just keep it chill. Um, you know, cook more at home, that sort of thing. But what this is guys, um, you have to get out of your shell for it. Okay. Cause this is y'all right here, but with the hermit reverse, uh, for some of you, maybe there, maybe you're just dealing with some inner conflict here. Okay, uh, maybe you're questioning if you could do it or maybe it's just, again, you're just really stepping out of your comfort zone. And guys, that's where life starts at the end of your comfort zone. So this is going to be solid for y'all. Let's get three more cards. High Priestess, you guys know deep down inside that this is something good and something you're meant to do. Two of Wands, oh my God, so much passion on this path. You, you seeing, you know, the end game. You guys are onto something big here, okay? You have the three of wands in the reverse. So there's going to be a lot of things about yourself and about your life that is just not going to work anymore. Um, there's going to be this sense of discomfort because you can't do everything the same way. You're going to have to adjust. And at first, that's going to seem a little difficult. Like maybe you just have to move a bit differently. Maybe you have to be more on your shit. Maybe... Um, you know, maybe you have to humble yourself. Maybe you're someone who, you know, you, you can have an ego, something like that. But there's something currently in your life that does feel forced and it's throwing you off balance. For some of you, maybe that's a fire sign, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. But you guys have something big going. There's just something that is a blockage to it. 
okay? It, it's something that it just doesn't resonate with you anymore, okay? And it's like you have all these blessings coming in. For a lot of you, it could be unexpected that this is going so well, okay? But even though your soul knows what has to do, on a human 3D level, I still feel like there's indecision. Um, but you guys are working through something beautifully and it's going to be extremely rewarding for you. Okay. So let's use another deck. I'm going to do uh, another spread for you guys. Okay. This is Grand Lux Tarot, guys. This deck, I love it so much because of the artwork. You know, this is my favorite deck, but it's huge. Oh, my God. It's like a workout to shuffle with it. You guys got the Eight of Swords reversed. So your mind is clear. You're seeing everything for what it is. If anything was mentally holding you back, even if you haven't moved away from it yet, you're aware of what it is. We have the six of wands in the reverse. So you know what, what would make you unsuccessful in this. So not only do you have something huge going, but you know exactly what could ruin that, what could destroy it. Or you could also be realizing that something is not going to be successful for you. But again, that doesn't get in the way of the success you have coming in. Unless you let it, you know. And we have the five of coins. So you guys are rejecting whatever would get in the way of this. And you know exactly what that is. High priestess and you have death card in the verse. And it's still in your life in some way, shape, or form. So y'all got to cut that out. Why is this eight of swords here? All right. So we have the magician. You know clearly what it is you have to do. And guys, whatever it is that you're manifesting, not saying that you can't get help with it, but you already have everything within you to get it going. So if it's like a new channel you want to start, or you want to start a blog or a business or whatever it is, um, yeah, you can get help, but you got it. You have everything you need. All right, we have the Empress card in the reverse. You guys, you know, this is going to be the month where you let go of what would have gotten in the way of the new success coming in. And we have the hanging man. All right. So I love this energy because, yes, something needs to be rejected. But um, you guys aren't going to do anything where you're bending over backwards or where you feel uncomfortable or where you're doing the most. You're kind of having that um, that go with the flow attitude. Like it just wasn't serving me. So I'm, I'm just not going to fight it. I just I don't have the energy for that. Or I'm not going to exert the energy for that. Maybe you do have the energy for it, but you're not going to you're not going to exude it. Okay, we have the Queen of Swords in the reverse. Okay, so you guys know what's not going to work for you. You have the Tower card in the reverse, but it's just like, um, you know what's not going to work for you, and you put a very high wall up. Because whatever this is, like it tries to get back into your life, or it tries to redirect you, and you're just like, nope, 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 nope. Um, so you guys become tough cookies, all right? We have the Chariot in the reverse. So you're hanging, it's like you're just chilling because you know that something was just out of your control at this point, you know, and, and you're not fighting it, and that's beautiful, okay? Life is always going to give you exactly what you need, but um, a lot of the times where we experience all this chaos is when we're trying to keep something together that's not supposed to be there. So most of the time when our lives are just being crazy and, you know, we feel shitty about certain things, um, it could be because of our inability to not be realistic and to um, let go of things that could be difficult or change the group of people that we hang out with or change the people that we break bread with. But you guys know what needs to be done. You know what's not going to get you there. And it's like, okay, well, I can't control it. I'm not going to go crazy. So you guys have like a very mature approach to it. Okay, for most of you, so I do like that. Um, now, whatever it is, you guys have to let go of. For some of you, maybe it's a lover, maybe it's a close family member, friend, whatever. With the lover's card, it's just going to be someone that was very significant in your life. Um, they're going to keep trying to come in, and I just don't see that happening either. They're going to have harsh words for you. Maybe you guys have harsh words for them, but... Um, for you guys specifically, I feel like you're kind of going to have that attitude where I'm not going to talk to you anymore, so you can just completely cut them off. Or you're just realizing, look, I've tried so many ways to make this work, to get it off the ground, and it's out of my hands. Okay, so I can't do this. 
okay so i'm gonna get you guys some cards of guidance here let's get three cards of advice and general guidance for my virgos So the five of swords in the reverse came out. This is avoiding conflict at all costs. So whatever path you're taking, you're not bringing this with you. You're not bringing the baggage. You're not meant to be in anything conflicting right now, Virgo. Okay. Wow. Um, all right. So we have the nine of cups in the reverse here as the energy. But we have the full card, the empress card, and the sun card in the reverse. All right. I feel that you guys, or maybe someone around you, may be unhappy that you have to remove yourself from something, but this is imperative to your self-sufficiency in this new chapter. So yes, you have something new with this Ace of Swords, but with that sword specifically, you have to cut something out in order to have this, okay? So for a lot of you, maybe you're single now, okay? Um, but this is someone who gains independence, so maybe you have to break away from your parents. Maybe just anything that made you feel like you couldn't do this on your own, It's you're just leaving it. So guys, um, and I don't say this lightly because I'm a very strong, like, when it comes, I'm a Taurus, and it's going to be, you know, similar to your Virgo energy, where we are very loyal to those around us when it comes to family, when it comes to friends, and it took me 30 years to realize that, hey, mom, dad, or hey, you know, whatever friends are around, if I do and live life the way you want me to, I am going to be fucking miserable. So, guys, you, your soul, it's not attached to anything on this earth. And, yeah, you could have attachments, soulmates, stuff like that, but that's not what I mean. Um, your parents, the people that brought you up, all of that, it, it's, it's kind of just like, a, how do I want to say this? It's just kind of the vessel in which you came to this earth, but your soul has its own purpose, its own destiny, and um, not to sound crazy for those who aren't deeply into spirituality, but our purpose is so much bigger than those around us, okay? And those around us couldn't either help us or they can deter us from what we're meant to do, but guys, your your soul, it, it's, it's an energy. It can fly through the universe. You can do so much with it. So realizing how huge that is, don't let anything earthly hold you back. Do what your soul needs you to do. I don't care who you upset. This is your life. And it's your responsibility to live it the way that you want. Okay? I love you guys. That's a very straightforward message. All right? So I'll be out with more readings for you guys soon. Um, if you guys want to follow me on social media, my Instagram is highvibrations44. I'm on Twitter as well, brujashit. Um, and if you guys need a personal reading, all of that information is in the description below. All right, guys, take care.